Hi guys, welcome back to LPB Racing for the Manufacturer Series on GT Sport. This is round six, race one here at Fuji Short. Uh, it says short, but it's basically the one without the little chicane at the Dunlop section, which I'll point out later. So let's go to the grid then. We're in the Nissan GTRs. 17s for the first race, the road car. TY is on pole position for this one, followed by Neil Farmack in second, Gummy Bear third, Homesick Alien, a new guy who's in the league now. So Homesick Alien in fourth place, a very good uh, qualifying for him. Callum Paul Banks in fifth, seat one in sixth, seventh for Bidster, eighth is Techno, ninth Firepower, Rod is in 11th, uh, sorry, Rod is in 10th, and Stacker in 11th place. So let's get ready for the start of this race then, guys. This is going to be a good one. This car's not the best handling car on this game in real life. It's brilliant. But watch the red lights come on on the Panasonic bridge. Red lights on. And it's lights out and off we go. It's a good start by everyone. Everyone goes down to the first corner quite well. Bids is going slightly backwards here, I think. But uh, everyone else nice and down to the first corner. Oh, Neil Farmack's trying to go up the inside of TY. Can't be a contact further back. A few people going wide. Seat one's on the inside. As everyone else goes through, we've almost got like four or five wide in the middle. It's brilliant stuff. TY's away. Gummy Bear second. And it's Neil Farmack and everyone else fighting for third. Hopsy Kalen's in third. Neil Farmack there in fifth place. Through the middle. And we've got Rodders sliding wide and almost hits Techno. Seat one goes wide as well. Hopsy Kalen into third place. Quite a plain car because he's not had time to put a number on yet. But as we go through there, TY from Gummy Bear, Homesy Kalin defending his position from Callum. Then we've got Neil trying to go up the inside of the McDonald's car of Bidster. Team takeaway having uh, McDonald's sponsorship this time. His teammate Rod is at the back of the field. As we look then, TY from Gummy Bear in the lead. Then it's Callum attacking Homesy Kalin. This is the bit of the circuit I was on about with the no chicane because usually there's a chicane just there in the background, but not this time. There's Callum, Bidster, Neil. And everyone else going through as Firepower then defends his place from Seek. Two little two tenth penalty to get rid of, but no biggies. He goes wide, Seek one will try and go around the outside. No way through there as Firepower throws the car sideways. But then it's going to run wide and Seek one's going to go through. So Seek one goes through because Firepower runs wide there as we go on to the long straight. One of the longest straights of the season. Callum and Holmes to Kalen run very wide there. Bizzler doesn't run as wide. So it's TY from Gummy Bear, Homesy Kalin in third place after the first lap, doing very well there from, from fourth to third. Bidster attacking Callum as well. A few cars taking different lines on the straight. Neil Farmack coming up behind Bidster and Callum Remba from the last race at Lago Magore. We have Callum on full ballast. So he's on a full 200 kilos in this car and it already weighs quite a lot anyway. So the weight will affect this one as Bidster has got second place weight on. So again, the weight will affect this race as Techno has got 15, uh, 15, um, I'm looking at the point, sorry. <laughs> he's got 120 kilos on. I will get this right, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologise, but uh, yeah, so a few people running weight in this, which is why it's not going to really help their race. But again, you only have to run it for this race, then depending on where you're finishing this one, you'll have to wait for the next one. So at the minute, TY will be carrying the full 200 kilos in the GR4 car next time round. Gummy Bear will be in second, but again, this could all change, because they did go on the grass, that could, oh, everyone running really wide there, and everyone collecting penalty after penalty, but TY and Gummy Bear, Gummy Bear didn't, but uh, Hubsy Kalin got a bit of a penalty for that. As he goes wide, tries to get rid of it, have they got penalties yet? No, they haven't. So Holmes to Kalen then with Callum behind him, pressuring him. Bits to try to pressure Callum up the inside as well, just having a little look up the inside. Holmes to Kalen's on the defensive now. He's got Callum and Bidster, two of the two of the fastest in LPB racing, coming right up behind him. As we go on to the straight then, but remember Holmes to Kalen, because he's new to the new to the league, he's got no way togs. It's his first race. Bidster and Callum are gonna get eaten alive here by Neil and Seek because they're just they're just so heavy they haven't got the top speed as Neil draws alongside Bidster then but Bidster stays in the draft of Callum there they are Neil the inside of Bidster but Bidster breaks very very late or Neil Farmer breaks very very early whichever way you want to look at it but has he got the inside no we've got to defend from seat one though seat one looking to go around the outside of Neil Farmer back up on the curb bang 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 have that but 
Now up and down to the next corner. Seat one's still on the inside. He's going to be very brave to overtake into here, but Neil Farmack's going to hold him off around the outside, or at least try on the kerb, and he does so. Hold Seek off. Brilliant. You don't see that very much, and it's very hard to do in this car, that, because it's so heavy, it doesn't like it. We've got a car off in the background, and that was firepower going a bit wide as Neil Farmack and gets up the inside of seat one. And keeps the position. Seat one tries to do a switch back, but again, can't quite get close enough. But is he alongside enough? I can't really tell here. No, he's not. There's a look back at Techno. Obviously, we remember he's got 120 kilos on from last week, so that'll not be helping his cause. It's obviously Kayleigh and then sideways into the corner. Everyone drifting the cars through there. Beautiful angle that, watching the cars go through. But then Techno and Rodders just, you know, flatten the comment right back in my face because they don't drift at all. So then we're a bit more spread out now, but again, Humsey Kalian's got a bit more of a penalty to get rid of. As we've got seat one up the inside of Neil Farmack. Have a go at that, son. Oh. Right up the inside there, really sticking his nose in there, but Neil Farmack not having any of that at all. So, but while they're fighting, they've actually lost ground to the um, to the guys with weight on, Callum and Bidster. Still ahead. In fourth and fifth places, Neil and seat one closing upon each other again in the draft. Closing, 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 both with little penalties to get rid of as well, down towards the first corner, building up to 160 miles an hour-ish, and then break into the corner. And Neil Farmack almost runs into the back of Bidster, almost misses his breaking point completely there, and goes straight on. As Techno then, he's uh, still trying to keep Rodders at bay, but uh, goes really wide there. I don't know whether there's contact or not, but uh, here we are at the front then. TY leading the way, and Gummy Bear in second place. It's really, it's really doing a good job to try and keep with TY here, but uh, not really getting close enough to start mounting an attack. So obviously, TY trumping his every move with the pace and just able to keep his head down, keep focused, and just trying to keep that gap as it is. So, which is one of the harder things to do. So, TY, the team player guy in front, and then we've got Gummy Bear, who's got a sponsorship of uh, hashtag gun rights on his car. I don't know exactly what that refers to, but uh, maybe some kind of American thing. But, uh, going up the hill, trying to keep up with TY, drifting the car into the corner, beautiful car control there. In up, up over the hill, Holmes and Kalian still in third. Callum and Bister just with the weight on, they just cannot get close. That weight is really dragging them down as Callum almost could get end up with a track limit, limit penalty there. But again, they both accelerate up the hill. Even with maximum ballast on, these two guys pro providing most of the action. And then obviously Neil and Seek as well, providing some good action there as well. In sixth and seventh, obviously on the straight, they'll catch up a bit, but again, Bister and Callum seem to have, the, have them trumped in the corners, even with the extra weight. As Rodder's there in 10th place, he's uh, there, and now Stacker's gone backwards. Stacker's gone backwards, made a few mistakes in that car. So, obviously, quite a few people not a fan of this car on this game because of how it handles. But uh, the GR4 car should be a bit better around the corners and overall should provide a bit better racing than this car. But still, good racing so far as we go down towards the little kink through this long, long, long right-hander, the front left tyre, absolutely crying for relief, through that corner and then into, oh, Callum having to defend there, so Biz is definitely close enough to mount an attack there, because Callum felt like he had to defend into that corner, but he runs really wide there as well, Humsey Kelly runs even more wide and kicks up the dust, but down to the next corner then, down to Dunlop, you see by the Dunlop sponsorship, hey, hey. Uh, we go into Dunlop, over the kerb, and both very nicely through there, meanwhile at the front, TY still in the lead of this race, with 144.2 last time round, 144.3 from Gummy Bear, so he's not exactly hanging about, but uh, TY trumping his every move, as Bister then finally gets up the inside of Callum, Bister gets up the inside of Callum, will he go for a switch back here? He's going to try and go for a switch back up the inside. Has he done it? Oh, he's going to be close, but onto the straight then. But Callum's going to get a bit more of a run onto the straight with being on the outside. Bister will tuck back in for a bit more draft and then try and go around the other way, probably. We'll have to see. They're drafting down the straight. Neil Farmax closing up to both these boys, though, with, with all the. Um, with no weight on. 
So Neil Farnett really closing up to the back of these boys now. Onto the brakes we go. Brake, brake, brake. Into the hairpin. The first corner hairpin. And Bista still not leaving the back of Callum's car alone. Really, really trying to tre get past. But this is all helping Homesick Alien out. He's uh, a bit more secure in his third place now. As we go into Coca-Cola Curve. And then round 160R. Round 160R, the long right-hander. Front left, again, like I said last lap, the front left tyre crying for relief. And then out of this one, into the left-hander at the end. And, oh, Callum just holds on there. Neil Farmack closing with every wheel turn on these boys because they're battling. And that's not going to help. That's not going to be good news for the straight. Because Neil Farmack will be able to go straight past. So I say 200 kilos versus, no, versus nothing is a big difference. As Callum then obviously has to harshly defend the inside now from Bidster. But will Bidster go for the cutback on the exit? Yes, he does. Bidster goes for the cutback. Brilliant move there from Bidster. And Neil Farmack says, thank you very much. I'll take advantage of that gap that you made, Bidster, and I'll follow you through. So Callum not... Oh, Callum really wanted to fight back. Wanted to try and get up the inside if he can. But can't quite do it. But look who's joined the battle. Seat 1's joined in. So this fourth place battle, really good here into the last corner then onto the straight get a good run Bista's got a good run he's, already, he's miles ahead now he's, but remember the weights will not help Neil Farmack then in, in, in fifth Callum will try and use all the drafty camera he's got seat one coming up behind him as well quick check to the front T.Y. still in the lead Gummy Bear still second only about half a second between them still but still Gummy Bear can't break that half second barrier and get close enough Holmes to Kayleigh in third Bid's doing fourth and on the brakes, Neil Farman goes for the inside, who's he outbraked himself? Yes he has, he's outbraked himself, he's gone really wide. Bid's to go through and seat one and Callum, oh it's going to be close. Are we three wide? Oh we, we almost were. Neil's on the inside of Callum though. Oh bang, have that, contact. Over the curb, Callum was right around the outside of him and says no you don't sunshine, have that. You don't hit me <laughs> as we go into 160R again. Callum then right behind seat one. Seat one's the beneficiary of this. He's up to fifth. And now it's his turn to chase Bidster for fourth. Into the corner at the end and then down the descent towards Dunlop. You see Leon, a Japanese sponsor. And obviously the Leon is the sponsor of the Seek and Stacker cars, as you'll see here. The Leon on the front of the car there, you can see it there, and on the side. So Stacker not doing too bad back there, he's not uh, miles behind, which is good news. Still trying to stick with the pack if he can, as Biz doing fourth, seat fifth. Callum still with Neil behind him. So Neil trying to mount an attack up the inside, Callum goes really, really wide. That weight is not helping the car as you try and brake, turn and then get on the power asking a lot of the front end corner of the car especially when you've got more weight on board and it just makes the car so unstable but Callum doing a good job to try and hold him off here but I think his time's up because Neil Farmack's right behind him and he's going for the draft let's go on board with Callum here as we look at Neil Farmack there he goes straight past us in the draft on the straight straight through as seat one then tries to catch up to Bidster but no way through there will Callum mount an attack on the brakes on the way back through don't think so now, Neil still stays in front for now, but at the front, Gummy Bear's a bit closer to TY than he's been before, 44-2, his best time of the race, look at the lap time, so consistent, 44-2, 2, 2, brilliant stuff. But then TY even more consistent, 44-2, 5, 3 and 4, brilliant consistency by TY, finally got his mojo back. Because uh, yeah, he's had a bit of an up and down season. He's had uh, pl he's had plenty of pace, but not um, much consistency this championship. But hats off to him in this race. So so far he has done brilliant. But so has Gummy Bear. He's really been a strong asset to LPB Racing these last couple of races where he's been with us. He's doing very good here and uh, showing he's a true championship contender for future championships. And so is this man, Homesick Alien, third place in your first race for the LPB Racing. That's pretty good going. So all these new guys that we're finding are all pretty good. So Bidster and uh, Callum and TY, you might not be winning championships for much longer. 
as we go into the last corner then seat one right behind Bidster now right behind him onto the straight tries to get a good run Neil Farmax trying to close up as well but doing that will not help the situation Further back, we've got Firepower and Techno having a good little battle back here as well. Firepower then trying to lose the draft on the straight. But for not weaving too much, because she can't weave, that's not allowed. It's Gummy Bear then, a little penalty, but he's right up behind TY still. As Bidster then defends from T1 into the first corner. C1 closed upon the straight. Bidster not letting him through though. Bidster, one of the hardest people to pass in LPB racing. Known for his defence. Let's see if seat one can break that barrier and get through into the Coca-Cola curve then. Round Coca-Cola curve and then round 160R. Round 160R. Right around the corner. Seat one looks on the inside. Little gap that bids the left open. Remember, seat one is a very aggressive attacker. He will go for a move if he sees even a glimpse of hope. He'll be in there. So seat one looking for a, uh, the opportunity to get past Bidster. Bidster not letting him have it as he goes defensive down towards the next corner. He'll have to go defensive here or he'll or him or not, but we'll have to see. Seat one goes to the inside. Bidster doesn't bother to defend. Seat one goes up the inside. But Bidster says, no, you don't, Sunshine. I'll just drive right around the outside here. Have that. But now Neil Farmack up the inside. Into the complex, but again. Can't quite get the car alongside enough to make the move stick, so seat one holds on to the place for now. As we go up and over the complex section, let's have a look further back here. We've got Firepower and Techno having a good little battle as well. We'll keep tabs on that as well as Firepower slides his way into that corner. It's not going to be the fastest way out though, Techno's going to have a good run. But doing that's not going to help because that's going to be track limits, so got to be careful. As firepower runs dangerously wide though, but again, just about saves it back on track with a good run. As we go back up front then, Gummy Bear is right behind TY with a couple of laps left. Really pushing hard now, as Bidster in fourth, seat one fifth and Neil Farmack in sixth. All really trying to battle each other here. Brilliant, and Callum's obviously fallen off the back of this group. There he is, he's fallen off the back of the Smirnoff car. Obviously the weight not helping him at this stage of the race, probably the tyres starting to go as well. Firepower then in 8th place in front of Techno, still a good battle raging to the end. This race is just about to start to heat up with a couple of laps left. Seat 1, a little bit of a penalty carrying there, will he have a look up the inside into the next corner? He's not going to be close enough I don't think, Bizda nice and nearly holds the line into the corner. Both cars drift into the corner, beautiful car control. There's Gummy Bear now, right on the back of TY, wanting his first win. Gummy Bear wanting that first win. TY not going to let him have it easy, but hats off to Gummy Bear, he's kept TY honest all race. He's done very well as well as we look into the back battle back here then, Bidster and seat one. Bidster defends the inside now, seat one. You are in for a show of defence here from Bidster because he's not going to let you through by any means necessary. But the thing is, Bidster might do all this heroic defending here, but when it comes to the straight, he's just going to get absolutely mugged by these two. As we go into the last corner, now Bidster's got to get that elephant of a car out of the corner. But again, he gets a decent line, but Simon gets a better run, and he's just going to get absolutely mugged here. <laughs> as Bidster and Neil can't quite figure out which way they want to go but uh, Bidster then onto the last lap of the race seat one on the inside on this last lap seat one on the inside break 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 gotta be brave here seat one looking up the inside inside he goes but he goes wide and Bidster goes back through the inside of that so Bidster read that one before it even happened. Bidster stays in fourth. Neil Farmer then looking up the outside in fifth. Outside of Coca-Cola Curve is very brave, but he goes round the outside. Bit of contact between the two. Oh, Neil Farmer! Oh, hoo, hoo. Talk about sideways. He was shaking his backside faster than a dog wags its tail there. But Neil Farmer takes fifth place for now. As we go down to the next section, Bidster slides the car in. But meanwhile, up at the front, Ty. In the lead from the start of the race, but being harassed by Gummy Bear all race, who tries a bit of rally cross there. TY doing very well in this, only a few corners to go. Hobbs Kalian in third. And then it's fourth for Bidster. 
for now as he drifts into the corner trying to take advantage of the corner but again Neil Farmer goes up the inside Neil Farmer goes up the inside Business is going to try and hold it around the outside no you do not as you go around that corner there into the complex see one up the inside of Neil Farmer right now as we go on to the last few corners just have to break away from this in a minute for the leaders but Neil's up the inside but TY wins the race well done to TY Gummy Bear a fantastic second keeping him honest all the race Hosick Alien in third place on your debut race sir well done third place for you my friend well done to Hosick Alien in third and Biz is just going to be able to hold off these boys he's going to be close and it's on the line Binston takes fourth from Seek in fifth Neil sixth Callum in seventh after all carrying all that weight Firepower is just going to hold off Techno for 8th place, is he? Yes, 8th place for Firepower. Techno in ninth place. Rodders is going to be in 10th. To Rodders, 10th place in that one. So uh, just struggle with the car a bit. 10th place for Rodders. And Saka is going to round off the 11 finishes. So we'll just get those results confirmed for you now, guys. Okay, guys, here's the results from that then. So, TY wins that race. Well done to TY's first win of the season. Then it's Gummy Bear in second. Good second place for him. Homesick Alien is first race, third position. Brilliant race for him. And um, Bidster in fourth. Seek fifth. Ca uh, Neil in sixth. Callum in seventh. Firepower eighth. And then it's ni uh, ninth for Techno. Rod is in tenth. Stacker in eleventh. TY with the fastest lap then for the extra point of 144.2. Okay, guys, so there's your winner, TY92, in that yellow team player car there. Well done to TY, and we will see you guys next time for race two. Take care, guys.